Okay, so take number three. Um, hey guys, it is Cyanoid here on Poison Serpent's channel, and I want to go ahead ahead of time and thank him for letting me upload this to his channel. Um, I'm going to do a narrated um battle in the battle subway. This is my sixth battle in my course before I ended up epically bombing in the eighth match. Um, because I asked him. Earlier, I was on the phone with him earlier, and I asked him, I was like, hey, can I do a narrated match on your channel? He was like, yeah, okay, whatever. So, yeah, so here I am. Um, <laughs> um, I said take number three. You heard me right. Take number three. It usually never takes me this long to finally get a video finished, and I know why, because I am a freaking idiot. <laughs> So, what happened was, take one was fine until my battery ran dead, and I had to replace the batteries. Okay? So, that was because of battery failure. Round two was... <laughs> oh, and this was... <laughs> oh, God. This one was really stupid. I have to admit, I was really stupid when this happened. Um... When I played it back to listen if I could get the audio for the music right, which I hopefully have it right this time, um, <laughs> I couldn't hear anything. So I thought, wait, what the heck's going on? Did I mess something up with my camera so I can't record right? And it's like, okay, I'll delete it and try and make it again, make it, um, take three. Um, so... But it turns out, <laughs> my volumes, my camera's volume was down to minimum. And when my camera's volume's down to minimum, you cannot even hear the audio from the videos you recorded. So, I was a freaking idiot and deleted that. And I was trying to do sound tests left and right until I finally realized that my volume was down to zero. So, yeah, my stupidity. I really hope that this isn't an omen for, omen for the rest of of my narrated battles, because if it is, this is gonna be one heck of a roller coaster ride. But anyway, guys, um, welcome to two, um, two, two. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Wednesday's upload. Um, I want if I can make um the daily matches, I will. I'm not promising this, and I hit the freaking camera. I am so sorry. But anyway, welcome to Wednesday's upload. Um. And here we just have a battle subway match three on three. You know the drill. So I've wasted enough of your time. Let's get started. Um, if you saw by the um team lineup, he's leading off the truck with the trot. I'm leading off with Blazekin. Um, my Blazekin is a if I remember right. My Blazekin is a um. Okay, forget it. Um, anyway. This Patrat goes for a crunch, gets a useless crit, because it really doesn't do much of anything. And I'm just going to Oko the Patrat, because it is stab, it is times two damage. And I have a really high attack stat, let me tell you. So, I'm healing off some of that damage from the crunch with my lefties. I am also plus one speed now, because of Blazekin's Dream World ability speed boost that it got in 5th gen. Um... And this is a stupid move here. Um, it sends in the Golette. I go for the high jump kick, forgetting that Golette's a ghost type. Yeah. I am... I, I, like... My mind, like, derped there. I have no idea what happened. So, anyway, it goes... And that really hurts because I lose my blaze again because of this mess up. Because it, it gives it a free iron defense. Which means it is plus two defense, but I am plus two speed, which makes no difference whatsoever. Um, I go for the Flare Blitz here, hoping to knock it out. Not quite too sure. I know I have a high attack stat, but the plus two defense off of the iron defense does help it survive. And I'm almost knocked out, which gives the Golette the easy knockout with a Shadow Punch. So... That was a really stupid mistake that made me lose my blaze at the moment. So, I go into my Murkrow, and what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to explain to you what this Murkrow can do. Because, um, 
this is a really repetitive part of the match. Um, basically, this is a Paris trapping Murkrow with that it is a bold um, prankster um, Paris trapping Murkrow with Eviolite. Um, Eviolite is an item that if it gives it, if it's hold, held by a Pokemon that can still evolve, like Murkrow can evolve into Honstro because it's Gen, Gen 4. Um, that makes it so Murkrow um, can use Eviolite and it will boost the defense and special defense of the Pokemon holding it. So, you add that with um, Parasong, Roost, the moves set I have is Roost, Parasong, um, Mean Wolf, and Sub, Substitute. So, um, basically this part of the game is where I am um, subbing up to protect myself from damage. Um, go for the Mean Wolf, make a short can escape. Parish Song, keep subbing up, whenever my HP gets a little low, I will roost, get my health back, um, then I can go sub up again, and do this whole repetitive, um, Black Hat Song and Dance, um, stuff all over again, and then on the last turn when the Parish Count drops to 1, um, what you do is is you switch it out. They will be forced to attack instead of switching out. Um, that will save your Murkrow to help out later. But you will have to switch into something else. So if you're running a full team six on six, um, I suggest you bring in a defensive wall. I just did not want to um, bring in another Pokemon that would not be able to do much of anything in here. Um, and as you see, I switch my Archeops. Now Archeops is not the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. And it does lose half its health off of that Shadow Punch, but this does knock out the Golet. Archaeops' ability to feed us is now activated, I think, at this point, which means its attack and special attack, attack, I think attack and speed are cut in half, but it doesn't matter because it is his, that, that is a stab choice banded earthquake right there, people. And being times too weak to that earthquake, that will knock out, that will Oko, that will epically Oko without a crit, um, Oko the Panseer, and that will win me the game with a okay 2 0. Uh, I have to admit that stupid move with me going for the high jump kick on the Golet and losing like half of my health in one shot was kind of stupid, but hey, whatever. Um, that just made the match a little longer so anyway hope you guys enjoyed um tomorrow I will probably put up a match um it will probably f be from the battle subway unless I can find a place where I can get Wi-Fi so I can use the random matchup so that'd be pretty cool maybe we get an actual um match instead of this so yeah, so, hope you guys enjoyed, um, again, gotta thank PoisonSurf92, if I have not thanked him already, um, for letting me upload this to his channel, um, I will put my link in the description, um, well, not my channel link, um, GamerGeek300, if you don't know what that is, basically a channel where Poison Serpent, um, Lee Gump, and myself, all work together on the same channel. I've been uploading most of the videos. Um Le Legum 1988 or um yeah. On Legum nineteen eighty eight I still have to get the um things to apparently just won't let him log in for some reason. Um but if he gets some videos um hopefully he'll be able to send them to me and I will upload them for him. Um Poison Serpent I will get the info to him so he can start uploading stuff if he wants to. Um, but this will go on his channel, of course. Um, so, anyway, we're almost 10 minutes in the video for first narration. Wow, I've got to learn to not rant about random crap at the end of a narration. So, anyway, um, hope to see you guys later. And hope to see you on Gamer Geeks where I will hopefully be uploading some more matches. I will be playing around with um I will be playing on the battle subway to hopefully get a good match to upload for tomorrow for Thursday's upload. 
So, anyway, I will see you guys later. Peace.